Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Avery at T Review with Two. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on the Harney and Sons Cherry Blossom Green Tea. It smells so good. Like, I just want to eat it. Like, seriously, like, from right here, from right here, from right here, from right here and definitely. Oh my goodness, you smell the green tea more. You didn't get in more. You just you just smell it like a whip. You cherry vanilla. You get in more. You get the green tea as well. It smells fresh. I got it hot and I got it iced right here. Let's get to the taste of it. Clean, smooth, brisk, subtle, but potent in its taste right here. The green tea in this, very nice, fresh, slightly grassy, slight astringency going on right there, working well as a base. The green tea is just throughout, feels out throughout. Somewhat of a full body green tea, but, but clean, crisp too as well. Kind of light, it's light and it's full body in a way. Like it tries to feel, it feels the palate kind of openingly. It doesn't like fill it just completely where like the leaves like stay, you know, like they get bigger. It's like the leaves are just like in your mouth, they open and they fly away. Like, so it's, it's full body in that sense, but it's opening and light in that sense as well. As far as it's just kind of like blooming in a sense, it's tea. The cherry notes, very nice. Now they don't come at you as much as the smell, but it's very nice right here. This is definitely, I would consider like a fruity tea because it's not like really like fruity and sweet going on right here. Nice slight sweetness going on right here. Slightly floral as well is going on with this one. Slightly floral with the vanilla as well. I mean, it's like a little, little fruitiness with the cherry, the sweetness and the niceness of the vanilla, smoothness of that, and slight floralness going on with the tea that's all bringing it together right here. Very, working very well together. I mean, it's, it's so clean. It's like a, a clean, fresh taste going on right here. And the slight astringency works well with those notes going on right there and that slight sweetness right there. Let's get to the ice version here. Now the ice version overall is a little bit more lighter than the hot version. Still not super light, still not like, hey, is this tea, is this cherry? No, this is a cherry blossom green tea for sure. You still taste it. You still taste those notes in the ice version. I'm picking up a little bit more of that cherry flavor right there. Not as much of the vanilla, not as much of the tea. I would still know like, yeah, this is a green tea. It's just slightly more of the cherry going on right here. And the other notes are a little bit slight less, but still, like I'm saying, still this is a cherry green tea right here. Whereas this one, I'll be the hot version, I'm more like, okay, this is a cherry vanilla green tea with some floralness going on right here. I can definitely imagine having a jug of this in the fridge and definitely going to it on a hot day any day and just, you know, pouring a cup of iced cherry blossom tea for sure. In the ingredients, you got green tea, cherry flavor, vanilla flavor, and it says contains natural flavors. And you definitely smell it when you go in for each sip right there. It's such a lovely cup and it's just lifting. A relaxing but natural, fresh spring vibes going on right here. And that is it with the review. Hope you all enjoyed it. Enjoy the cup of tea you've got. Take care.